Hello friend, before we get started, I just want to take a moment to express my gratitude to each and every one of your ongoing support. Your comments, like and subscription mean the world to me and I could not be more grateful for this incredible community we have built together. I am confident that by the end of this video you will have learned something new and interesting. So let's start the today information. President Manangagwa is reportedly desperate to shed some of the legacy economic problems his administration inherited. Zimbabwe is set to introduce gold coins that will enable investors to store value within the country as inflation spirals out of control and the local currency continues to rapidly devalue against major currencies. In a statement on Saturday, the southern African country's central bank chief John Mangudia announced the new gold coins would be available through normal banking institutions. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, resolved to introduce gold coins into the market as an instrument that will enable investors to store value, Mangudia said. The gold coins will be minted by Fidelity Gold Refineries, private, limited and will be sold to the public through normal banking channels. Fidelity Gold Refineries, private, limited is the sole gold buying entity and refining entity in the country and is owned by the central bank. The central bank's monetary policy committee expressed great concern on the recent rise in inflation, which increased by 30.7% on a month-on-month -month basis for June 2023. Authorities are struggling to pull Zimbabwe from its current economic crisis due to high inflation and a rapidly devaluing local currency. Unemployment is also at 90%. According to the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions, ZCTU, the country's inflation has been on an upward trend in the past three months as inflation pressures rise, driven by the continued weakening of the Zimbabwean dollar, which is trading at $1.650 on the black market. The printing of new money by the central bank has also worsened the situation, reversing gains made in the past two years that saw inflation decrease from a peak of 800% in 2020 to 60% in January this year. As part of measures to stabilize the economy, the central bank will more than triple the lending rate from 80% to 200% per annum and raise the interest rate from 50% to 100% per annum. Harare-based independent economist Victor Baroma commended the Apex Bank's interventions, saying positive interest rates would reduce both speculative borrowing in the economy and money supply growth. Gold coins are a good idea in terms of storing value. It can be way to reduce pressure on the US dollar if sold in Zimbabwe dollar thus stabilizing inflation, Baroma told Al Jazeera. But they will likely be indexed in US dollar which means it's a fundraising scheme to get USD from the market by the central bank. The success will thus depend on confidence in the central bank as the seller of the coins and guarantees that back them. Let's hope Zimbabwe economy will grow and stable in coming days. Take care and goodbye.